Hello everyone and welcome. On this series of videos we are going to be creating a Twitter bot. And the first thing we have to do in order for us to accomplish that is download Node.js. So go ahead and go into the Node.js website which is nodejs.org and download the most stable build which in my case it's 8.11. Once the download finishes, you will be prompt with a Node.js setup wizard. Just install it by accepting the terms in the license agreement, choosing an installation folder, and make sure you have everything here white, which is installed on my local R drive. Now just click install and wait for this to complete. I will see you when this is over. Well, Node just finished and now let's check if the installation was a success. And to do so, you come here into the command line and you write node slash v and this will output the node version that you have installed. And in our case, it's 8.11 and if you check right here, that was the correct version that we just downloaded. So by now you must be wondering, why should we use Node? Well, Node is a very handy tool. It allows us to create JavaScript and run it on our local machine. Apart from that, we can import packages that allows us to communicate with different APIs in the internet. For instance, and in our case, the Twitter API. So let's go ahead and test some of this JavaScript code here on our um, console. You start by writing node and you see that your cursor now turns into this uh, arrow and now you can write any JavaScript um, commands or code that your console with will parse it and will execute it. So let's go ahead and do the most simple one which is console.log and let's log hello world. If I hit enter right here, you will see that hello world is printed to the console. Great! Now we can use JavaScript and create whatever we want in our local computer. But we do not want to have to write all the code in the console. We want to be using file and a file system for our application. So what we really want is we want to create a node application in our computer. And for us to do so, go ahead and create a new folder, an empty folder, and go to that folder on the console. As you can see, mine is located at e.bots.stereobot. Now, go ahead and write npm in it. This will create our node package. Um, or you can call it an application. But for us to do so, we have to give it a package name. So let's go ahead and call it StereoBot. The version, I can leave it at 1.0. The description, you can write some fancy description. I will leave it blank for now. Now the entry point, this is very important. The entry point is the file that you are going to be calling and that is responsible for the start of your application. I like to call mine app.js, that's preference. You can call it whatever you want, as long as it's a, J a JavaScript um, file. Now the test command, let's not worry about that right now. I do not want to have this on a Git at the moment. Keywords, this is only relevant if you are going to be publishing this package. And the author, I can go ahead and tell that I am the author. Now for the license, we just leave it at isk, there's no problem with that. Review what you just did and if that's all good, just go OK. And as you can see right here, we just are, we just got a package.json. And now this folder, this stereo bot folder is my node application. Great! Now that you just created your first package, let's go into a text editor. I will be using Atom for this and let's create that 
entry file. In my case, it was app.js. So create it. And now instead of writing your JavaScript code in the console, you can write your JavaScript in this file and run it from the console. How? So let's go ahead and create the same console.log for the hello world. Save that and go into your console. Now, instead of doing node and leave it blank, just do node app.js and this will run this app.js file on your console. So let's go ahead and click enter and as you can see node parsed this file and outputted hello world which is our console log right here. Great! Now we can use a file and we can write all the code that you want on a file and have node executed for us. And now before we go I will give you a little tip. Node works with packages and you can install different packages that does different things. So I want to install a package that I found very very useful when writing node applications and that package is node daemon. And for you to install it you can go npm install and then you call the package. So no daemon, no daemon. And then just write slash slash save. So it will save this package. You hit enter, it will download this no daemon package and add it into your application. Just a little um, description of what no daemon is. No daemon is a package that reruns the application every time a change happens. And with all that we reach the end of this episode. We have downloaded Node, created an application and ran some JavaScript code from our local machine. In the next one we will be creating a Twitter application and we will link that application to our account and we will be using Node to talk to Twitter. So if you like this episode and you want to see more about this, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos and I will see you on the next week. Bye!